it's time for me to show you guys how to farm relics. We have got four different denominations. We're going to go in order of lowest level to highest. So let's get over to navigation right here. First spot for lith relics. Definitely 100% goes to Hepit. Bring a fast warframe. Get on in here. We're going to go real, real rapid. Obviously, get your speedy boots on and sprint on through. Capture the target and sprint to the extraction for a nice, tidy, probably, what, 90 second run? Oh, 66, we'll take that. And bam, every time you run this, one Lith Relic. We need to talk about Meso Relics. These are a little bit more complicated than the others because most of the time they are basically co-located with other relics. So when it comes to navigation, then we have a few spots that we can think about. If you want an endless mission, then the best one is going to be Olympus on Mars. This is a disruption mission. The first two rotations are going to give you Lith Relics. And then after that, you're going to get consistent Meso Relics so long as you keep on accomplishing the mission. I will give a guide for disruptions in this video, just like we did with the capture mission a second ago. But for now, we're just talking about where you can get the Meso Relics because they are just a little bit more complicated than some of the others. The next place that you can get them from, and again, they are mixed with another Relic, but this one is probably a little bit more favorable you can come to uko in the void area this one will actually give you a mixture of meso and neo relics so pretty good it's literally the same as what we did on hepit so it's just as fast just slightly higher le level enemies and it's going to give you a mix of meso and neo so if you have zero relics this is probably one of the best places to come because just run this a few times and you're going to have a good mixture of relics from there if you want to get meso relics straight away and you want a guaranteed roll the next best place to be going is going to either be jupiter's defense Io or the Saturn Defense Helene. Depending on what it is you need, like in terms of like ulterior motives, one can be better than the other. So for example, if you don't have Wisp yet and you need to get some Hexen on, Io is a good one. If you just fancy leveling up a Warframe or you need some Oricon Cells, then Saturn is going to be a good one. So choose which one of those two is going to work better for you. They're just standard defense missions, real easy. So again, I don't feel like too much gameplay is required for me to explain what you do there. And that brings us to Neo and Axe. Axi relics, okay? So again, we have a bit of a fade here. We already spoke that you can get some Neo relics in the void. In addition to that, we also have the Zinni node on Eris. So let me just zoom out just so I can show you guys this. The Zinni node on Eris. The first two rotations, so rotation A, the first two are going to give you Neo relics, and then rotation B and C are going to give you Axi relics. Pretty good if you want to get like a mixture and you don't mind doing endurance runs. And then when it comes to pure Neo, the best place is going to be Uranus. So you want to come to Ur, the disruption Ur. So this is actually the place that we've been to before in the series. This is where you get the Excelter from. So actually overall, very profitable and generally speaking, quite easy to find a squad. I don't know what it's looking like right now. So actually very nice place. And as you can see, you actually get quite a lot of stuff from there. So all in all, a very profitable node. So I highly recommend doing that one, especially if you need Neo Relics. Lastly then, a good place or the best place for Axie Relics, especially if you want to get Axie Relics straight away, is going to be on Lua. This is another disruption mission. This is a sentient one, so there will be sentience here, so just be careful of that. Just in case somebody doesn't know how to do a disruption mission, I'm going to play through quickly just what it is we're supposed to be doing. You are going to want some kind of damage and control frame, so Nova is good for this, Octavia is good for this. Very high damage frames, such as Messer and Protea, they're good for this, but I haven't done how to get Protea. But anyway, let's move forwards. Spot number one, and this is the only one I'm going to show footage of because it's all otherwise basically the same mission, is going to be Olympus on Mars. Let's go through quickly and show how we do a disruption mission. Okay, so these missions start very similar to a survival mission, but they are quite different. For one, we don't have a timer. So you're going to see on the map here, we have four of these little nodes here. And we don't need to defend them, but we do need to find keys to get a timer started. So let's just go ahead and destroy some enemies as we go ahead and look for a key. Attacking up enemies, and eventually you're going to see something like this flashing on the ground. We're going to go ahead and deliver that to the node that the key goes to, obviously denoted by a shape. Like if I go ahead, put this down on the ground, you'll see that that has the same pattern as the one that we're going to fit it into. Cool. All sorted. So now we have a suicidal enemy that is going to try to get to that point that we were just at and detonate. Now, what we need to do is use our ears to try and listen out for it. This obviously works way better in a squad, but for the sake of the video, I want to make sure I'm doing this solo. And here we go. It's going to be down here. All right. So these enemies can sometimes be pretty difficult to stop. 
This is why Nova's good, because Nova will slow it down. And we need to do that four times. That's going to give us our first drop. Now, you can imagine, we can actually do four of these at once if there was a squad of four in here right now. So you can make this incredibly fast. Take all four enemies down. Take all four enemies down to get the reward, as you can see. Rinse and repeat, and you can keep on farming the relics from here. We've gone over where we can farm specific types of relics. Now, let's look at how we can get bulk relics. This, realistically, is if you've been playing the game for a while and you have a decent mastery rank. That's because this obviously increases how much syndicate standing you can store. So if we come over over to our syndicate stand right here and let's say i'm going to go into red veil because red veil is maxed for me right now and i have some standing here that we can use go into view offerings and if you come on over to the side you're going to be able to find that we can go ahead and spend twenty thousand standing to get ourselves some extra relics this also gives a chance of ayah so we actually got pretty lucky here so we can show something else as well and we can do this for any sing syndicate this can be done in all of the open world areas including the plains of eidolon and all that kind of stuff so for example in cetus if you come on over to the mining guy over here go into browse whereas if you had spare ostron standing on you right now you could buy relic packs right here We've got two more points to show then. First up, how do we spend Aya and what can we get for that? So to spend your Aya, you're going to want to go to Mars where we can find Maru's Bazaar. Come on inside and we're going to head to the back end over here so that we can find Varzia. And then we can go into Browse Wares. Ignore all this stuff. This, these are basically like old Warframes and stuff that you can spend money to buy. We're kind of avoiding that for the sake of the series. If you come down here, you can see that we actually have specific relics that we can buy for Aya. So this is obviously a nice place to check if there is something that you're after specifically. But let's say, for example, if I really needed the Ball Prime stock, I can obviously use my Aya on there. And then I'll be able to obviously just use that to my advantage if there is something here that I need. And then your final option is to go to the Vox Solaris or, or Necromech bounties, which is the Vault Isolation bounties in the Entrotti area. If you don't have access to those, that's because you need to finish the War Within quest. And then you need to come to the Plains of Eidolon, so we're obviously where Konzu is. And then you need to head into the cave behind him. It's been operator mode for this, so that you can speak to Onko. That'll unlock both of those sets of missions for you. Something to note is there is in fact a tracking website, so I can put a link to this in the description. It's a place called Tenno Tools, so that you don't have to come here and take a look yourself. You can just look on there, and if the relic that you're after happens to be a reward, then this can be worth running. If you really need Meso M4s because you want the Massa to Prime Blade, then running this is obviously going to be useful to you, and is going to be a good way for you to start getting that specific relic if it happens to be in the reward pool, especially as these are actually radiant already. So getting the Grendel Prime Blueprint look, for example, that's going to be a really, really good idea to, to run some of these and get them already in radiant form so that's going to be the end of how to farm relics in warframe i hope that helps you guys out i'll leave a so that's going to be the end of how to farm relics in warframe hope that helps you guys out on how to do everything in warframe and to keep on progressing at a nice steady pace and hopefully i'll see you all in the next video